trying to find a cafe called Fairways Cafe, but Haggerston Castle is actually pretty big. Um, there's a lot of lakes. We keep looking at the map. It says it's near a lake. We have not found it yet. Um, I just thought I'd do a little video to document Holly's first holiday. Um, that way there's golf, I think. Adventure golf. Might have a look at that later. Um, to be honest, we're trying to keep outside because um, the COVID restrictions aren't very good here. Um, we had to um, we had to book in for everything in advance, but it seemed pretty pointless to be honest because it's really really busy. As I said before, we went swimming this morning and we had to book a slot. You had to wear your masks to check in to the swimming, but I mean once you were in there in the changing rooms and stuff. Um, we might, we might as well have just licked everybody's face, to be honest, who was in there, because <laughs> we were so close. But um, Holly had a good time. Unfortunately, we couldn't film that, but because um, there's other kids in there. But yeah, I think we shared a good time. She's just chilling, really, <laughs> just floating in our little ring. Um, she got splashed a few times, but um, didn't seem to bother her. So that's good. We're trying to get her used to a lot of noise as well. She's not used to being in public areas, so she coped well with it. Oh, really, I'm proud of her. My little five-month-old baba. Um, so yeah, when we find this cafe, I'll take a picture or a video or something when we get there. We didn't video last night because um, we didn't get here till about quarter to se Was it quarter to seven, Andy? We checked in. Um, then we needed to unpack and probably needed a bottle. and. Then we were trying to get tea. Um, that was a fiasco too, because they have takeaways on site and you can order a takeaway on the app. But um, it was so busy, they turned off the ordering. And if you wanted to queue, it was like a mile long. So we tried to get in the restaurant and um, they said there was no bookings, but they were waiting for somebody to come for the table. Um, they were late, so they were going to give them another 10 minutes. And then we could have their table. So we waited, loitered about, got in, waited another 20 minutes or something for someone to come over and serve us. And then all I wanted, I'm doing Slimming World, is um, something with a salad. They didn't have no salad. So by this point we were just sick, so we just went to the shop and got some stuff, went to bed. Well, actually, we watched Love Island and then went to bed. Um, so, yeah. Um, after we've been for some dinner at this cafe, we're going to go into Annick, I think. Maybe it's Annick Castle. Never been there before. But we'll see. I mean, I don't know what the situation with Buchan is there. So, we will see in a bit. We found the cafe thing here. Um, looks like there's... Proper golf, not just crazy Chelsea. golf. Um, so we're gonna get some food. I'll let you know what it's like, what we get. Um, don't think you can eat in. Let's just eat outside. So. Are you awake now? Oh, eating stuff. With my baby. <laughs> Holly! She loves it! So we're in Annick, um, Annick Gardens now. There's loads of swings everywhere. Like, loads of swings up there. Um, loads of different gardens. We've just been in the Poison Garden where Andrew nearly met his death if I thought ahead to put grab some and put some in his cup. I didn't. Only being a daredevil. It's quite
quite late on in the afternoon now so I think we're just gonna have a bit of a look about if you pay um, if you pay 19 pounds I think you can come back for the year so we might do that I don't know so we've just been around Anik Garden um, there's a few different things I think you can see on the sign there We've just been in that bamboo labyrinth there. It's really dark, um, so that was quite, quite spooky. Um, there's a big, like, water feature there. Um, basically, if you go in like a circle from over there, if you if you go around that path, you come in a big circle and you come back to this bit where there's like a cafe and different stuff. Um, Alright for a few hours but you couldn't spend very long here really. Um, now I think we're going to go into Anik Town Centre and try and find some food. Morning, it's um, Sunday now. Um, I didn't really take much footage yesterday. We um, After we were at Anik Gardens we went and found somewhere for tea but to be honest there's not a lot in Anik. Um, there wasn't a lot of options. So um, we have swimming booked in for 12.45, it's currently 25 past 10. So we're just gonna go and have a look in the arcade. Oh Andy, did you bring your tickets? The tickets that one's in. Um, and I'll show you in the little entertainment complex, um, if I'm allowed to. Um, but you'll see. I mean, it might not be so bad this morning, but it, it was pretty busy last night again. Um, not great. Fully expecting to have COVID after this. But what can you do? Um, right, so I'll have to put my mask on in a moment. So I'll start filming again once I'm in there. Um, so around the corner up there, sorry if you can't hear me very well, just put my mask on. Um, there's a shop, an efficient chip shop. So this is the main complex. Takeaways obviously aren't open just yet. They open later on at night. There's a couple of guns. If you've got a push chair, there is good push chair access. I'll give them that. Um, that's the live lounge, the entertainment place. Um, not open just yet. There's a swimming pool over there. There's more games and things up here. Then at the end there, there's the uh, Mash and Barrel, which is the restaurant. Um, we haven't actually eaten in there. We did try on the first night. I don't know if I said, but um, they didn't have much of what we wanted, and it wasn't great service. It was taking a long time to even get a drink order, so we just scrapped it. Um, so we're going to find Andrew now in the main arcade. 
There is a soft play. I don't know if you saw that before. Um, obviously Holly's too little for that, so you can't use it. afternoon and we're now in Berwick town centre we're just having a wander around trying to find somewhere potentially to go for tea um weather's a bit weird it's like sunny one minute so I've burnt my forehead cold next but never mind um I think we're trying to find our way down to the river I'm not really sure where we're going. But never mind. Um, we were meant to be going to the live lounge tonight, but we've cancelled it because it's just not our cup of tea, really. It's quite noisy with a lot of cars coming past, but um, yeah, it's not my thing to be honest. All the like, hey guys, come on, kids club, woo! It's not really our thing. So we're going to have some tea and then go back to the caravan um, but first we're going to explore what's up here because there's some steps and I see people coming up and down them it looks cobbly, looks interesting so we're going up here um, nothing really exciting to tell you there's not a lot going on in Berwick um, and as I say it's quite dreary so making the most of our last afternoon so we have to check out at 10 o'clock in the morning so we'll probably go back start packing a bit so we're not rushing in the morning just packing with a baby it ain't fun guys um, so if anything interesting happens I'll let you know but otherwise I'll speak to you later so apparently Andrew's had a run up um, up this alley and it's interesting. I wish I'd had the camera on. I was stood waiting for him and uh, I thought, oh, nah, he's taking too long so I turned the camera off and uh, I, I missed it, he came running along. I thought he'd been chased, like bat out of hell. I was like, what are you running for, weirdo? That was a bee. Um, so, aha, uh -huh, right, okay. Wait till we get to the top and I'll turn the camera around. It's people's allotments and things here. And then there's a bit of a walk down to the beach, I think. Um, wait, wait till we get to the top. I'll have a look. Okay. So that's the seafront right down there. I think that's where the walk goes by the looks of it. So we'll catch up with that. Oh, she drop. Where? <laughs> Do you see that sign that says she a drop? Maybe she mean here, I don't know. Never mind. So we're walking down to the coast. I've never been along here. We've been to Berwick quite a few times now. And I didn't know this was here. Oh, apple tree. My granddad would have had a couple of them.
we were just being on a little walk around um, the, I don't know what it's called, kind of the walls around Berwick, I suppose. Um, there's loads of military um, stuff like cannons and um, like the little information signs telling you all about the defences when they were trying to keep um, the Scottish out. So we, we walked all around there and um, there's like different like they called sentries where people would stand with guns um, so there's all that sort of thing and then we walked around there for about half an hour and we've come down and this is the beach at the bottom so I'm not sure if we can get all the way down onto the sand but I mean we've got the push chair so we wouldn't want to anyway but hoping to find a little restaurant for tea or something Hello! So it's about half past nine on Monday morning. We were about to check out and I thought I'd do a little caravan tour. Now we've got most of our bags out. So um, this is the living area. So you've got a telly, a fire and the heating controls are over there. Um, we've got Polly's little play mat on the floor. couch and stuff I think there's little seats that pull out of there there's a pull out double bed over here and the table fridge freezer there's some cleaning stuff in there kitchen microwave that's our prep machine obviously it doesn't come with a prep machine <laughs> Bathroom. It's got proper heating in, like proper radiator. It's not just like a gas fire, so you'll be warm enough. And the shower was all right as well. It's a bit. Um, I mean, they say they need ages for cleaning for COVID, but I'll put this blind down. Don't know if you'll be able to see or not. Um, the light on. There's like a monkey kid's handprint on there. And some of the gum colour blind. So you know, just saying. So then there's a uh, two single beds in here. There's loads of plug points, which is good for charging phones and things. There's another one there. And this is the main bedroom. I mean, we've got a little telly over here, and there's a hairdryer in that top drawer. So we're like right close to the entertainment complex. And there's a little ensuite in here, but we didn't really use it. Um, just a toilet, there's no shower. And then the wardrobes. The wardrobes are pretty cool. I'll give them that because the light comes on when you open them. So plenty storage. We just had the Moses basket here. I will say this bed is absolutely tiny. Really, really small. So you might need to escape to the other bed if there's not enough room like I did. So that's it. I'll just... Um, Show you outside. Not that it's very interesting. We're in the prestige. Okay, so that's about it. We're gonna um go home. Get sorted because later on we're going to an owl encounter at Lanchester Garden Centre. Right, okay, so I'll leave you with um, a little shot of Holly enjoying the last bit of her holidays. Aren't you, darling? You had a good time? Yeah! Bye bye for now!